Uh, all right. Okay, guys. If, uh, uh, let me post again in YouTube and Facebook that we have a new page now. Uh, they can leave the old one. We have a new podcast. It's called. Look, we have two podcasts right now. <laughs> it's called How to Expose Muslims. Uh, they can leave the old one. We have right. a new podcast. Let's see, we got, it's working. How to Expose Muslims. Because this is what we will do in the coming. All right, <clears throat> I will go back to you now, uh, Nightmare. So the word Islam does not mean surrender, right? All right. <clears throat> Let us see if this is true. One post in Facebook. Uh, live TV journals. All right, I don't know if, uh, if people, they found out about the new page, you know. Yeah, because the old one is stopped, so we have to create a new uh, new uh, broadcast. A nightmare. You say that the word, <coughs> the word is, does not mean surrender, right? Everybody heard you. All right. Let us see if this is true or not. In a second, before they will see if this is a fiction or a true story. Can somebody pause for me chapter 2, verse 112, the translation of Big Tad? Can somebody pause it? Chapter 2, verse 112, translation of Big Tal. Hold on, Nightmare. Let us, let us get you busted. <clears throat> Maybe nobody is busy. <clears throat> okay, I will do it. <coughs> I will do it, no problem. <clears throat> Take the mic nightmare and read for me. You know what? Let me give you this word. Just wait. This one is better. <clears throat> this one is better. Wow. 
Muhammad was teaching the Muslims who converted to Islam, they said to him, we are Aslamna. Aslamna, we surrender. Muhammad, he said, oh, we are Muslims. He said, don't say that we are Muslims. You say Aslamna. You say we surrender. We what? Surrender. Aslamna. So they are not really believers, but yet they are Muslims. And Muhammad is saying to them clearly, don't say that you are Muslims. Say, we became Muslims. We surrender, which means we surrender under the pressure. We surrender under the, 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 the threat of Muhammad. We did not really convert to Islam. Here we go. Chapter 49, verse number 14. Chapter 49, verse number 14. Take the mic and read it for me in Arabic, and I will pause the, 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 the verse in English uh, nightmare. Chapter, again, chapter 49, verse number 14. Qayat al-Arab, Amanna. The, the Arabian they said we believe Paul say you do not believe yet you say Aslamna if Aslamna mean we believe in Islam so how Muhammad he says don't say we believe you might <clears throat> Aslamna it means we submit doesn't mean we surrender surrender it's false because if they submit if they submit it's mean they became believer did they did they submit because they are willingly submitting or because they are forced to you might submit is something you do willingly correct guys I submit surrender no surrender yes you surrender but you have no choice if you submit it's mean you are a believer the verse saying don't say don't say we uh, we believe say we surrender read it and faith never enter your heart so what we did aslamna what aslamna mean we surrender and this is the muslim translation in front of you don't say don't say we became muslims don't say we have faith say we surrender this is what it means. Right? No mind. <coughs> Wrong. This is interpretation. Faithful. We submit. You're wrong. What is the word submit there? Hey, Abdul, what is the word submit there in Arabic? Can you give it to me? What is the word submit? The one, the one, the translation you are posting saying we submit. What is that word there? You might. Aslamna. Aslamna means we enter to Islam. We become. False. False. The word submit translated there is for the word Amanna. You see, your translator is a liar. It says, So the translation is false because Amanna does not mean we submit. Amanna means we believe. Is that correct? They are saying, we believe. Muhammad, he said, no, don't say they believe. Say, Aslamna. And let me get you busted with no mercy. What is the most accurate translation you believe it exists for the Quran? Is it Bikta? I want you to be sure. Is it Bikta? You might. Mm. 
No, there's, there's no, no the best uh, translation. No, I did not such a thing. You know, most of them uh, I check. Okay, then you have to explain them to me. Then, how they are saying we believe? He says to them, to them, don't say we believe. Say we are Islamna. That's mean they are not believers. And he's saying, and faith never enter your heart. So how they became Muslims, but how the, the, the faith never entered their heart, your mind. It says we believe, and he say the word submit the translates for us for Amenna. Amenna is we believe, translated as we believe. Aslamna translates uh, as we submit. So this is they are the correct translation. Aslamna will mean we. Hey, Abdul, in different translation in English, it says surrender. I can show you. You want to show you? The same verse. They translate it as surrender. And as long as you don't agree with any translation, so we can avoid the translation. And let us ask you then, how they believe? And Muhammad saying to them, don't say we believe. Say surrender, say Islamna. How you can become a Muslim without being a believer? Correct, guys? He just admitted that they are saying we believe. Muhammad said to them, don't say we believe. Say Islamna. And later we will find out what Islamna means, if it's surrender or submit. Don't say we believe, say Islamna. For faith never enter your heart. The verse is so clear. Those people, they do not have a very little faith in Islam. So how they are submitting, as you are saying the word Islam, I mean we submit. But yet Muhammad saying, don't say we believe, say we became Muslims. How we became Muslim without believing? Unless you surrender. I force you to convert. Correct, guys? Muhammad trained them, you did not have faith. Faith never entered your heart. Then the question is, how those people, they became Muslims? Became Muslims because Aslamna. He said to them, say Aslamna. Say we surrender. Faith never, ever enter your heart. Don't, don't, make, don't think you can fool me. I know you don't believe in me. I know you, you know I am a scumbag. I know you know that Islam is false. Don't say we believe. None of you believe. Say we surrender. And this is the whole story. The verse here is clearly saying that Muhammad saying, you know that you never surrender, never accepted Islam, but you surrender to Islam. You surrender to Islam. As simple as that. Otherwise, then here the question will be how somebody can become a Muslim and faith never enter his heart. Can you explain that to us, Mr. Nightmare? Your mind? And don't don't take the mic from me, okay? The word uh, aslamna is never used to mean to surrender to somebody, to an army to a country then i challenge you to find me in arabic uh, in textbook where the word aslamna means to surrender to an arab no problem let me get you busted in a second guys somebody pause for me somebody pause for me chapter 48 verse number 16 and let us let us read the translation of uh, Shakir. Here we go. Muhammad is a threatening them. Either they surrender, or he will kill them. The mic is yours. He can read it in Arabic. He can read it in English. He can read it in any language. He is saying to you, if you don't accept Islam, huh? If you don't accept Islam and you fight with me, you join the fight with me, you shall be called to fight against people who given great warfare. Then you shall fight them or they shall surrender. What the word surrender there, Mr. Nightmare in Arabic? What the word there, which was translation for the word surrender, do you know? You don't mind?
Give me the, the text in Arabic, Sir Kevin. Give me the text in Arabic. Oh, uh, you want in Arabic? Okay, here we go. Okay. The word surrender there is Yuslimun. Say to the Arabian, you will be asked to fight people of war, mighty war. Either you surrender, became a Muslim, and you obey, or we will kill you. <laughs> The word Yuslimun is the word surrender, clear. He is making a threat to them. Either you become a Muslim and you obey, or we will punish you. Punish you by what? By death. How clear I can make it more than this? Correct, guys? How clear I can make it more than this? You convert to Islam. And what does convert to Islam mean? Surrender. So convert to Islam is by surrender, it's not by believing. I gave you the Arabic text, you idiot. And you know what? Stop being stupid. I mean, can't you open your Quran and read the verse there? Why I need to give you the the the, 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 the always the text in Arabic? Read it. I post it for you already in Arabic. And I post it in English. So either you convert to Islam and you surrender. This is what convert to Islam mean. You slimoon. You slimoon to become a Muslim, you surrender. So Muhammad is making a threat to the Bedouin, to the Arab. They don't want to believe in Islam. You don't want to join me in Islam? Uh -huh. I'm going to call you for a fight against my people who they are great in warfare. Then you shall fight, or they shall surrender. Then if you obey Allah, will give you a fair reward. But if you turn away, as you did turn away before, he will punish you. So to become a Muslim is the, the, the message of the threat. If you surrender yourself to Muhammad, you are a Muslim, you will be rewarded. You obey Muhammad, you are fine. If you don't, you will face a war and i'm going to kill you all and what the word surrender replace the word uslim which mean become a muslim surrender you're my uh, abdul i don't know how stupid you are i mentioned the verse number many times i said verse chapter 48 verse number 16 chapter 48 verse number 16 48 16 all right, and I post the verse in Arabic and I post the verse in English. The mic is yours. The verse in Arabic it did not show up. Ask uh, Darius Paul, the ESO, he also say it did not show up in Arabic. It doesn't matter. You know, pal talk sometimes maybe don't accept Arabic text, but this is not a problem. As long as I'm giving you the verse number, why you don't open it yourself? So it's very clear that the word Muslim means surrender. If we go to a different verse, chapter 49, verse number 14. The same verse we are talking about. Look how the translation changed. You are the one who gave me the translation. It says submit, right? Here we go. In this translation, it says surrender. And this is the accurate one. Fit with the one before it. The better way say we believe. Say you believe not. But you only say we surrender in Islam. For faith has not yet entered your heart. Guys, if you connect the two chapters together, we will find the answer, correct, guys? We are posting from two chapters, chapter uh, uh, 48, 16, and chapter 49, 14. The first one, Muhammad saying to them, if you surrender to Islam, I will reward you. If you don't surrender, become a Muslim, I will kill you. This is the first one. 
Then the verse after it, those Bedouin, they get scared. They convert to Islam. Now Muhammad is talking to them. He said, they are saying, we believe. Muhammad, he said to them, don't say we believe. Say we became Muslims. Say we surrender. Are you guys getting the, 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 the picture now? Are we getting the picture? Both, they complete each other. The first one, he was threatening them to convert to Islam. Then they converted to Islam. And then they said, okay, we believe. He said, Muhammad, he said to them, no, no, no. You did not believe. Faith never entered your heart. You became a Muslim. You are just a Muslim. You surrender. So what a Muslim mean to surrender? You do not need to believe. In Islam, in the, in the cult of Islam, you do not need to be a believer. You need to surrender to the gang of Muhammad. This is all what is required. You believe, you don't believe, who cares? No, there's no submit, don't lie. Don't lie. Here we go, he's making a war threat. And then they convert. He threatened them, he will kill them. If they don't surrender, they surrender. Then he said to them, ah, oh, don't say we believe. You don't believe, you surrender. Not me, or this is your Muslim translation, Abdul. This is your Muslim translation. Stop being, stop being a liar. Here we go. Open the link, guys. Open the link and see yourself. How we get them? Busted. And actually. The verse itself explain itself explain the meaning Muhammad saying to them you became a Muslim because you never believe in Islam faith never enter your heart and here the question should be how somebody became a Muslim but faith never enter his heart unless he was forced to do we agree do we agree guys do we agree now to, to complete this uh, uh, picture all of us we heard of something called the war of upper state is that correct there is something that's called the war of upper state ten of thousands of people they left Islam immediately when Muhammad died why because they surrender they don't believe are you getting the point right away they heard Muhammad he died he thought okay we are done party party hey Muhammad is dead because they surrender. They heard Muhammad is dead. Yemen decided not to become Muslims. The Yemeni, out of Islam totally, all of Yemen, overnight. And all the Arab tribes around them. And then Abu Bakr, he had to force war on the upper state, war of torture. It's called the war of upper state. If those people they are, Believers, there is no need to make a war of upper state. To the point we call it war of upper state, to the point because it's so large, because everybody, almost everybody left, except the gang of Muhammad who they are close to him, who they get the benefit of this Islamic state. So he launched a war again because those who he forced to surrender, they are not surrendering no more. And this is a clear proof that Islam never was exist without the sword. Right away in the fresh day of Muhammad life, when he died, the same day he died, people start even Islam. This is why you see uh, Muhammad in the, in the Quran as an example. <clears throat> Muhammad, he said, when a victory came, when the victory came, people they enter Islam like waves. Like what? Like waves. Waves. Somebody post for me, guys. Chapter, uh, uh, I think chapter one one ten. <coughs> chapter one ten. Chapter one ten. All of it is three verses. Look what the chapter one ten is saying. When the victory came, the victory of.
of the war I saw people entering into Islam by waves tens of thousands because the victory is now people don't want to enter Islam until he forced them to enter Islam when the victory came Muhammad he saw people by crowd entering Islam before the victory nobody want to enter so nightmare you challenge me to show you where is the word Islam mean surrender and I gave tons of approves apologize for your lies my friend your mind <coughs> yeah, uh, your translation but I is in a shell where they put the word submit not surrender did uh -huh. you know those translations not all of them translated by surrender okay let us go with your nightmare let me get you busted from your translation how they submit but Muhammad saying to them you never have faith in your heart explain that to me those people they submit to Islam submit to Allah that means they are believers how Muhammad he says to them don't say we submit don't say that don't say we believe sorry say we submit <laughs> that's funny guys don't say we believe say we submit so what you are saying to me if you submit to Allah in Islam it's mean you don't believe in Islam so how the word submit will fit there how you submit to Allah and yet Muhammad saying to you faith never enter your heart oh my Yeah, but it does, it does not mean uh, to, to, to surrender to to uh, to an army. No. So how he, how they became Muslims then? They don't believe in Islam. Obviously, it says, "Abdul, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid? Are you, are you trying to play dumb with me? No problem. Play as much as you want." Your prophet saying to them, "Don't say we believe. Say we are Muslims." Explain to me. How somebody can become a Muslim, but he don't believe. Those are the same by the way. Your prophet was a threatening. If you don't convert to Islam, I will kill you. This is why I'm showing you two verses, not one. I'm showing you two chapters. Two chapters. Chapter 49, verse number 14, is an answer for chapter 48, verse number 16. In chapter 48, verse 16, Muhammad says to them, Oh, you better win. You better win. Huh? Either you surrender to Islam and you obey, and then I will reward you, or you will face a people of mighty war. He's making a threat, he will kill them. Those people, they accept Islam. The neighbors, the Arab. Now, those Arab, they are saying, we are believers. Ah, Muhammad say no. Don't say we believers. Say we are Muslims. I am sure everybody here he got the idea, except the Abdul. He don't want to get it because he is trying to play dumb. Correct, guys? Isn't it obvious? The two verses they complete each other. The first one is a threat: convert to Islam or else. Islam to Islam. And then they convert to us now and then they say we are almost we, we, we believe Muhammad say no you don't believe you are just a Muslim which means in Islam you do not need to be a believer you need only to surrender it's a gang Muhammad really don't care really believe in him or not he want people to obey him to be subdued to him he want to be the king of all everybody you believe you don't believe who care he will make money from you from, from, from your ass he will control you, you will become his slave, and supposedly you are the slave of God, and he is just the servant. This is the whole idea. So, nightmare, how you can become a Muslim without being a faithful person? How this happened? And those are all the Arab. All, not only one, two. He's saying to all the Arab, the Arabian, your mind. <coughs>
Okay, the first verse says, so, Aratin Arabu Amen, Kul Aslam. Did you check the, the explanation of the Mufassir interpretation, the expert, or are you just making your own interpretation? Your mind. What about you give us the interpretation? And does that mean when you are giving us the, 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 the answer yourself, you did not vision? Because you are giving me answers for the last 40 minutes. And are you telling me until now you do not check the interpretation? Why you do not check the interpretation? Check the interpretation. Who's holding you? I mean, seriously. Who is holding you from checking the reputation? Check it. I have no problem with that. Right? It's, you know, it's very funny when the Muslims, when you put them in the corners, they say to you, is that, is that your interpretation? No, this is not my interpretation. No. And the verse is so clear too. He is saying clearly that 